how do I maintain a happy and structured home life with my husband and my daughter? Well, for me, I wake up at 5 a.m. Monday through Friday, not because I have to, but because that's an ideal time for silence, for prayer, for exercise, for writing, returning some emails. And by the time I wake my daughter up, I have filled my well and I can give from that space, from a full well. A few years before my daughter was born, I had read a book called The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And after I finished the book, I thought, how come I didn't know this when I was a kid? And I thought all kids should know this. All kids should understand that they were born powerful. All kids should understand that they have this gift, that if they understand how it works, that they can actually use it. So that was the inspiration for the children's book. And when I was pregnant and my daughter was born, and after I found an illustrator, it was the right time to release the book, March 2016. I had my first signing at Barnes & Noble in Washington, D.C. My greatest accomplishment is my beautiful, perfect, wild little daughter, Offset. <laughs> the biggest challenges were the darkest moments, but I found that the darkest moments are magical. They're transformative, or at least it's an opportunity to be transformative. Um, gratitude, gratitude is the, was the key for me. Losing my three babies, I lost my twins, Aza and Solomon, and my son, Issa from 2007 to 2011. And so one day I just decided to write them a letter and I thanked them in the letter and the thanking them was like big for me. I mean, the tears was just going, but in thanking them, it was an opportunity for me to grow. They used me as a vessel to come through for their next assignment. And I just said, thank you. They knew that I would and I could be able to be okay and move forward. And I actually asked for their assistance when we were trying to have my daughter that they would help bring their sister forth or their sibling forth. Do I have any advice for women who are trying to conceive? My advice would be before you decide to have a baby, you should get your wound checked first. It could be fibroid issues, it could be blockage, it could be scarring. And if they see those things and put, put the procedures in place to get rid of those things, it could prevent preterm births, and or possible miscarriages. What kind of songs would I be writing about for my new project, Whatever the Beat Serves? That's it. <laughs> Listen, I came here, here from Washington, D.C., back home to the ATL. My girl Diddy Ima connected me with her team, and she already told me about these guys but today, and even before today. They actually was on it while I was still in D.C., sending me all kinds of pre-prep stuff, interview questions, uh, just video footage, all types of stuff that I was to expect when I got here. And let me tell you, Carrie, Crystal, I mean, everybody is on it, one, two, three. This is a professional team. They know how a set is to be ran. Um, Carrie is so on point with that schedule. And he gonna keep he gonna keep you keep you together, um, keep you accountable. I feel Crystal's vibe, like I feel her energy when she's behind the camera. Like I feel like I connect with her energy wise behind the camera. And the other people, the other young lady, Chantel, Tati. I mean, everybody's a team player. Everybody works well together. Everybody supports each other. This is a fantastic team. Glow, glow, and Glow. Where well, you got that glow? Hey. That glow. The sun. Oh, so we got that glow. That glow. Hey, hey, hey. So we got that glow. That glow. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey.